now to find horizontal tangents, we have to look at y. So y is r sine theta, which in this case is cosine theta plus sine theta times sine theta, which is cosine theta sine theta plus sine squared theta. And so dy d theta will be cosine theta cosine theta plus negative sine theta sine theta that's using the product rule with this and using the power rule with this you get 2 sine theta cosine theta so this is really cosine squared and this is really negative sine squared and again cosine squared minus sine squared is cosine of 2 theta, and 2 sine theta, cosine theta, is sine of 2 theta. To find horizontal tangents, we want to see when this is 0. So equals 0 when we have a horizontal tangent. So let's see, we have cosine of 2 theta equals negative sine 2 theta. And then you think about when does cosine of a equal negative sine of a. Well, you can draw a circle. When is the cosine the negative of the sine? That occurs on this line. So here we have 3 pi over 4 plus any multiple of pi. So. 2 theta equals 3 pi over 4 plus any multiple of pi. Dividing by 2, we see that theta is 3 pi over 8 plus any multiple of pi over 2. And here again, k can be any integer. Let's see what the theta values are between 0 and 2 pi. We get, when k is 0, we get 3 pi over 8. When k is 1, we get 7 pi over 8. When k is 2, we get 11 pi over 8. When k is 3, we get 15 pi over 8. And that's all of the ones between 0 and 2 pi. So this corresponds to horizontal tangents.